Hey guys. So, um, if you watch my latest videos on me doing the hoverboard repair, you might remember me mentioning that I wasn't entirely sure why the original power supply failed. And uh, as it turns out, the answer was right in front of me the whole time and I just couldn't see it because I kind of tend to, a lot of times, kind of like overthink things and make them more complicated than they really are. But it was really easy once I actually put some uh, thought into it. And uh, you know how sometimes you kind of have like these made up arguments in your head when you're taking a shower? Well, I was actually in the shower when I was just kind of like thinking like, why? Why did it happen? And uh, so I kind of, I mean, I could tell you the answer like, you know, just quickly, but I kind of wanted to use this as an opportunity to maybe like make this a little bit educational. So uh, let's, uh, let's kind of like see, you know, how um, power kind of flows regarding the the charging circuit and in the the device and uh, you might be able to figure it out after a bit but you know I'll, I will tell you why but as we go through it some of you might be able to figure it out and uh, maybe some of you already kind of figured it out on your own so uh, yeah let's take a look okay so first a quick reminder of how everything was uh, wired up if you remember the input from the charger uh, that was the connector that's on the uh, base of the, the hoverboard went straight into the battery and then I had uh, two outputs, and that was the only wiring that came out of that battery. So we had um, one set going to, we'll say controller one, and then we had the other set going to controller two. And we're gonna say that controller two is the bad one, even though, you know, it doesn't matter. It could have been either number, but we'll say that that's the bad one. Okay, so if you remember, when I measured the continuity at the charging port, it was uh, showing as a short. And uh, that's when I said that I was hoping that there was nothing wrong inside the battery because we were measuring a short directly into the battery. However, once I had actually messed with it a little bit and I had disconnected the two controller boards, then we saw that this short here went away. We were actually getting the positive 36 volt output. But the only thing that had gone wrong was that the two MOSFETs of, of one of the phases, they'll say that there's actually uh, three of these circuits, one uh, for each phase. So, but only one of them, the two MOSFETs had shorted out. So basically, it was a continuity like between here and here, which would have shorted out the positive 36 volt directly to ground, which uh, we'll say would have uh, been basically like a short like that. So, how come nothing burned up? Like, say here, if this was shorted directly to the battery and uh, we were shorting directly across these MOSFETs here, well, the battery inside would have had some protection circuitry. So even though inside this would have been wired up something like this, the positive here would have gone to uh, both of these, the short we were measuring was the short that was here. So that's the short we were originally measuring at the charger output. But inside the battery, we've got the protection circuitry that takes the, we'll say, we'll say that's the battery here, that takes um, all these, there's a, we'll say that's the protection circuitry right there, and uh, you know, the negative going to, to those right there. This circuitry basically cut everything off from the battery and that prevented the battery or anything else from seriously burning up. So I wanted to do a little demo here using a smaller battery pack and the its own little protection circuitry here to show how these actually uh, sort of work for those that might not know. So here's our quick and dirty little demo setup. So this green LED that's soldered directly to the two wires coming off the battery is going to represent our battery obviously because <laughs> they're coming straight off the battery and uh, this little flashing star here represents the uh, controller board and uh, nothing fancy it's just uh, the positives and the negative out of the the protection circuitry is going directly into this star so basically what happened was when the MOSFETs on the controller board shorted it was as if we took this positive and the negative and touched them together like that. And so our controller board stopped working and there's actually a, 
I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but they're still flashing a tiny little bit because there's still a little bit, a tiny little bit of current going through this, the, the output here. But as we can see, the LED from the battery is still on, meaning that there, um, the battery is not shorted. Um, so that's still able to run. So even if I were to clip this positive to that ground there, now those lights aren't flashing at all, but our LED is still on because we are not shorting the battery directly. But if we were to remove one of the leads from this battery here off these lights, basically that'll allow the circuit to reset. And once we hook it back up, it starts working again. So what happened was when I disconnected the battery from the uh, shortage controller board, it reset the battery. And so the next time I went to measure it, that's why we were actually able to measure the voltage coming out of the battery. And uh, when it was still hooked up to the, the controller board, we were seeing a short because basically we were measuring directly across here. So what, once uh, the charger was plugged in, it just basically shorted straight through those two MOSFETs. The MOSFETs didn't burn up because they were obviously able to handle the amount of current going through them. And uh, the charger having no apparent uh, overload protection because it's a very simple circuit uh, basically just uh, ended up uh, frying itself and uh, that's pretty much what killed it so that's the cool thing about a lot of these uh, batteries nowadays coming with protection circuitry uh, is um, that they're you know able to shut off the output and prevent anything from uh, burning up or uh, blowing up uh, in the case of this one right here um, this is just a, uh, a lithium ion cell and uh, no See, we have no tr um, no uh, short circuit protection of any sort on this. So if I were to take this little piece of solder here and short it directly across the outputs, it's it just melted because there's a nothing to prevent it from um, dumping you know as much current as it can into it. If I were to take the same piece of solder and short it across this one, see we can see that it's uh, still running here. So we've got current output. If I touch this to the negative and then touch the other side of the positive, it doesn't melt it because it cuts off right away. So I hope that kind of uh, explains some things if any of you were wondering. Uh, thanks for watching once again and uh, see you guys next time.